Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we're going to be jumping into the Bitcoin chart in a video which I'm going to keep short, sweet, professional and to the point for you, just giving you all of the information that you need to know right now if you want to successfully trade Bitcoin alongside us today. So let's get straight into the video, picking up right where we left off yesterday. And that was where we were discussing this level of resistance around the NSPOC, right? And actually, after that video, the more that I looked into the chart, the more I realized, wow, we have such great levels of confluence here. We're talking about four, five, coming on nearly six levels of confluence. It was crazy what we had here. Okay, so when I looked at this in detail, we actually had the NPOC into the CC, which I'll show you into the in a minute. We had the previous range value area low. On top of that, when you pull the whole of this range up to current price action, we start to see the point of control coming up in here as well. So we have on the on the high slash medium term time frame several reasons to reject here, high levels of confluence. And then on the lower term time frame, as I said in yesterday's video, I am looking for a new high to be made. Actually, after that video was published, you have to be a scalp trader on the lower term time frames, but we did make a new high. We did make a new high and it actually ended with trap longs. And this was saying that I was looking for trap longs into the high. Then I'll compound my short trade. I was ready and waiting for this option. And we did get that. You have to be a very good trader. I'm not going to lie. But nevertheless, we formed a swing failure pattern. And upon that swing failure pattern, we did have trap longs into the high. Now, so as you can see here, the open interest increasing on this wick, which this, this picture was posted live in the time, by the way. Onto that wick, we saw trap longs and then selling balances out of that high. So EG, this has given you a very valid short entry if you're a scalp trader. Okay, definitely only for scalp traders, but nevertheless, if you're a decent trader, you could have taken that trade alongside me. And I actually know a lot of people did. As I come over to the Discord, I see even the moderators taking that short trade. But you can see here, all of the champions, 19600 entry, 19500 entry, 19500 entry. 19500 entry all of us getting around those really similar entries even people over on twitter and now for the ride back down from 19500 and the icing on the cake was was maybe michael saylor buying more bitcoin uh normally gives a nice little sell sign right <laughs> all fun and games all fun and games but um yeah eg for being real serious and technical here uh this was an extremely high level of confluence really just so much resistance there the more i looked at it the more i thought wow yeah this is truly is a large region of resistance and today i want to give you the levels that i'm looking at next really over the next um, few days this week let's say that the rest of this week it remains 196 19700 massive resistance here to be fair of course the more times we test this the weaker it gets but this, this is a big region of resistance if we clear that i'm looking for the twenty thousand psychological and if we clear that i'm looking for the daily here twenty thousand two hundred and twenty. okay so we have three regions of resistance this first major one twenty thousand minor daily we have to see a swing for pattern okay uh so th those are the resistances that i'm looking at here locally and then for the downside, I would give you the exact reason where we've bounced where we've bounced from. Again, this is really, really, really amazing. So why did we reject where we rejected from? Fibonacci from the high down to the low. We come right into the CC and we reject. And now when we pull the exact same Fibonacci from low to high, you will see here on the lower term time frame, we get the exact touch of that Fibonacci for a bounce, taking out the last high, getting a bit of a pullback. But I think it's absolutely fair to say that this Fibonacci, the CC, is just absolutely wonderful. It's given us the high here, and now it's given us a temporary low. What would I say about this low? It's, it's definitely not as strong as the resistance we saw yesterday. That is why I made it very clear. I'm not going out on my short trades yet. This is not a sign of strength. Until we reclaim that, I'm staying in my shorts. And today, we see another, what was I on yesterday? About $80,000 profit, I think. Now we're on 117 thousand dollars profit so that's around another forty thousand dollars profit in in uh, overnight really for myself and this is the beauty of just you know staying calm remaining patient looking at my trades taking my trades not being scared you know just having the confidence to do what the chart is telling me and that's uh now about six bitcoin just over six bitcoin one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars in just a few days of trading and this really just show you the power of doing technical analysis understanding the levels, 
knowing when to not long. I made it very clear yesterday, this is definitely not a long opportunity. This is resistance. Get ready for the short, where you even had a lower term time frame short entry, which for me was taken on the tether pair. I'm also trading the tether pair. But nevertheless, like, still the swing fail pattern there on the USD pair. It's just I'm already in a position on the USD pair. But uh, for me, for the sculpts, it's on tether. But nevertheless, where I'm going here is, you know, there's entries to be had. There's money to be made. My, I mean, the evidence is in front of you here as well, long, as well as all of the other champions that you can see educating themselves, taking the trade, making money. And it's it's all going very nicely indeed right now. Um, so, yeah, what am I looking for next? Well, I've talked you through these levels of resistance here. OK, and actually, before I move on to the levels of support, I'll just do one quick announcement for you. And that is once again, reminder that Igor is doing his live trading streams. So if you want to see the live trading live in the time as it's happening, you can come over and check the live stream, which is ready right now. As you can see, watch right now. I'll give you the quick sneak preview here. Maybe. Maybe. OK, <laughs> you can see here he is analyzing the chart together. He's going to be taking some lovely, lovely, lovely trades and, uh, you know, giving you analysis live in the time as it is happening. As you can see here, people, um, you know, asking questions, getting answers, educating, learning and, uh, you know, getting in on the action as it's happening. Uh, so obviously last week he netted himself over five hundred dollars profit during that live trading session. We'll see what he net nets this week. But um, yeah, that was just the one quick announcement that I wanted to remind you of. Of course, if you missed this live stream, all of the data, all of the action can be watched back on the website, which is in our video library, which is basically the same as Netflix. You can come in here, watch all of the course, watch all the videos, get all the information in your own time when you are available. Uh, so yeah, moving back over to the current price action and what I'm looking for next then. Well, I've given you the reason why we're bouncing from where we are, and that is the CC, right? From low to high, coming into the CC, kind of a swing failure pattern here. This for me is not a major level of support, uh, not that like this was here of resistance, because we're talking about like five different reasons. Here we have two, so it's not as strong. Nevertheless, if we get the, the bounce here, I know the next region of my resistance. If we do continue the downwards trend here, being looking back to this FA, which is 18461, and if we lose that, I'm really going to be looking towards the new lows made, to be fair, around low $17,000. For me, I'm able to remain patient here, under no stress, really, really happy with the trading environment right now. Of course, I know one final tip that I'll give you, you have to be looking at the ES simultaneously. So we have Bitcoin here on the left. And then the way I do my charts is I might be looking at Ethereum at the same time, which was still bouncing off that POC. Remember, I gave you the point of control. I would just remind you, I obviously posted this in my trading channel as well. We were bouncing off the um, point of control. So this was actually the point of control I was talking about during the li Champions live stream on Sunday before we hit it. We then come down and hit it Sunday night, Monday morning. We bounced off that and that bounce is still continuing here on BTC locally. But the main one that we're looking at is the stock market. Eji Eagle is doing his, doing his work on the stock market because it's just extremely correlated. You see this move down on the stock market, move down on Bitcoin, move up on the stock market, move up on Bitcoin. The assets are just totally correlated. So you got to be, you have to be aware if you want to successfully trade Bitcoin right now, what's happening on the stock market, even what's happening on the DXY, on the Forex. Really valuable information here that is just going to be you know, it's just going to save you a lot of money, save you a lot of trades. You can see how the ES ended with the swing failure pattern before the large move down. Bitcoin did not get that swing failure pattern. It did not have the strength. But if you are aware of the weakness here on the ES after the swing failure pattern sell off, you would have been ready and waiting and acknowledging, well, there's a high likely that Bitcoin follows down too. And it did. Uh, anyway, nevertheless, that's what I wanted to bring you today. It was a relatively quick update kept it professional, kept it to the point. I've given you the levels. I've told you how I'm trading. That's remaining in the short for now. I'll remain looking for a sign of strength, which that, as of yet has not occurred. I'm aware of why we're bouncing from where we're bouncing from, so I'm not surprised by this. But I overall think it's a massive level of support. Uh, our final words that I'll end with is, I suppose, don't look at the title of the video. I had someone comment yesterday saying, Daniel, uh, do you really think the bottom's in? If you actually listen to what I'm saying, I obviously did not think that the title of the video is a little bit of grabbing attention. <laughs> I'll just make that very clear once again. Uh, yeah, thank you ever so much. The one and only trade that I showed you yesterday, I'm still in. And um, yeah, I'm just going to say thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. And don't sleep on that Eagle live stream. If you want to get over on that, that's chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much. Get the live trading, get the analysis, get the updates and uh, educate yourself along with us. So thank you ever so much. Cheers, everybody. And have a brilliant day. Goodbye. Oh, I'll end with no financial advice, of course. Demo account, paper trades all that good stuff, no financial advice, important legal trade disclaimer. Cheers, thank you, and have a good day. Goodbye.